sorry about that. I'm going to be sharing you fast scales that my teacher showed me. And I'm just going to be showing you one technique because I don't want to share too much. But what you want to do, also, you always need for if you got, if beginners are watching this, you need to have a good form on your left hand. So you don't want it to be like this. You want it to be straight. Sorry, like this. So if you're going to play a scale, that is, because you don't want to mess up and be like... Sort of like a bad form, which is not never good. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to be sharing with you. So um, the man who also taught me this, George Rios, he's a very talented man and talented teacher. I will give you his link in his bio. He teaches um, very, very great. Well, I mean, sorry. He teaches just well, okay, very well. I don't know how to describe it, but it's amazing how he teaches. But I'll give you his link in the end, and it, it's going to be in the bio. But right now, let me show you the technique. So this is like speed bursts, but with sections. So say we're playing G major three octave scale. You are going to want to take that section and you're going to try to play it fast, but first try going slow and build up to it. Build the endurance. Stuff like that. Now, what you um, when you do that, you don't want to be, sorry, you really don't want to be tense because <clears throat> being tense is never good and it can really mess you up and it can also, your thumb, it can, um, the pressure with your thumb when you're tense with your left hand, it can, well, I wouldn't, it could like sort of mess with your bone and that's never good. Well, I can just, I don't know how to explain it, but. It happened to me once, and then I was like, gotta go a little light. So what you wanna do is try to get a buzz. Like so, and then you wanna put very light pressure on that buzz, like a feather. And then, like so, you would like to play the scale fast or slow. I'm gonna go slow and then I'm gonna go fast just to show you guys. And now I'm going to attempt to go fast. I haven't warmed up. Sorry guys. Now, as you can see, this part needs help, so I'm going to share with you what I do. I do not press, I do this. I will go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dot them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reverse dot them. One, two, three, four, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, what I'd say you do is syllabalize it. Bop, 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 bop. Now without pressing. Bop, 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 bop. And then try and go faster. Bop, 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 And now, try for the grand finale. Like so. It helps you get better. And for my last thing, I'm going to be just sharing with you a little scale I thought it's cool and I think guitarists should learn if they're ever going to learn um, like A2 number 7. It goes like so. Oh, I'm just going to show. Like so. And you also want to get that fast. Now I'm going to attempt to play it slow and then fast. You know, 
So here we go fast. Sorry, I'm just do a little drill to help me. Like so, and that'll be all. Sorry, that's my dog barking. <laughs>